I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Donald Trump is posting on his social media platform that he expects to be arrested on Tuesday. He is also posting some other heinous things to his perceived supporters in connection with his prediction that he is going to be arrested. Let me just read for you right now his statement where Donald Trump is predicting he's going to be arrested in connection with the Manhattan District Attorney filing felony criminal charges based on Donald Trump's payment of hush money to Stormy Daniels and then trying to cover it up by misclassifying it, falsifying his business records and classifying it as a legal reimbursement in connection with other crimes as well, turning it into a felony. This is what Donald Trump just posted. I'm going to read for you the second of the series of posts, then I'll read for you the full post and then we'll just break it down. So this is what he is saying. He goes, now illegal leaks from a corrupt and highly political Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which has allowed new records to be set in violent crime and whose leader is funded by George Soros, indicate with no crime being able to be proven and based on an old and fully debunked by numerous other prosecutors fairy tale, the far and away leading Republican candidate and former president of the United States of America will be arrested on Tuesday of next week. Protest, take our nation back. Clearly, when Donald Trump is saying take our nation back, he is sending yet another message to his insurrectionists. And he's been trying to foment this over and over again. And he's been mixing these types of statements as well with Russian propaganda that he's been spreading. Obviously, also trying to ask for help for Vladimir Putin and other posts that he's been making and we've been covering here on the Midas Touch Network. Essentially nothing that Donald Trump here is accusing the Manhattan District Attorney of is true. The only thing that appears to be accurate is that Donald Trump is going to be arrested on Tuesday. He is predicting it and as Karen Friedman Agnifilo, a Midas Touch Network co-host who was also the former number two deputy within the entire Manhattan District Attorney's Office under Cy Vance. As she predicted, it was possible that the indictment was handed down by the grand jury as early as last week that Donald Trump had been tipped off by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office that that had actually already taken place and they were now coordinating the actual steps for Donald Trump to surrender himself. We've also reported here on the Midas Touch Network in various hot takes and on our various podcasts that the Manhattan District Attorney's Office is coordinating with federal, state, and local law enforcement as well for early next week in anticipation of Donald Trump being arrested, of Donald Trump being criminally charged, and specifically because it was likely that Donald Trump would try to foment violence again, as he appears to be doing now with statements like take our nation back. And the way Donald Trump tries to phrase this, he tries to be clever to give himself cover and say, all I was saying was protest. And everyone has a First Amendment right to protest. But look, when then he says take our nation back, and when he makes these statements that our nation is being destroyed and that my supporters aren't going to stand for it. By the way, his dwindling base of supporters. It still is about 20% of the country, but nonetheless a violent contingent of the country when he's sending a message to them, take our nation back and you're not going to stand for this and the deep state is doing it to you and all of the horrific and absurd conspiracies that he is spreading. Um, he is obviously trying to signal that message. Let me read for you the full context of the message that he posted now though just so you can see it for yourself. I mean, it is it is important to look at this from a historical context and show everything he's saying is a complete and utter lie, showing how deranged he is. But folks, this is very, very historic that Donald Trump finally, finally 
is going to be brought to justice. He is going to be, it appears almost certainly, going to be criminally uh, indicted, criminally charged next week by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. And even Donald Trump here is predicting his arrest. Let's read the full post. Donald Trump writes, our nation is now third world and dying. The American dream is dead. The radical left anarchists have stolen our presidential election and with it, the heart of our country. American patriots are being arrested and held in captivity like animals while criminals and leftist thugs are allowed to roam the streets, killing and burning with no retribution. Millions are flooding through our open borders many from prisons and mental institutions. Crime and inflation are destroying our very way of life. And then he goes into now illegal leaks from a corrupt and highly political Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which has allowed new records to be set in violent crime and whose leader is funded by George Soros, indicate that with no crime being able to be proven and based on an old fully debunked by numerous other prosecutors fairy tale, the far and away leading Republican candidate and former president of the United States of America will be arrested on Tuesday of next week. Protest take our nation back. All of this, by the way, is in insane capital letters. And frankly, this whole statement is utterly unhinged, insane, vile, despicable. Let's just go through it. Our nation is now third world and dying. No, it isn't just because Donald Trump is a malignant narcissist and he's being brought to justice. That's how he sees it. He is a sick and disturbed individual who sees himself as the nation. He is not the nation. He is a disgrace and a traitor to our nation. He then goes, the American dream is dead. No, it's not. Again, that's his malignant narcissism because he associates himself as the nation. You are not, you despicable traitor. He then goes on to say, the radical left anarchists have stolen our presidential election and with it the heart of our country. Here, Donald Trump again spreading election disinformation, very Putin-esque, the radical left anarchists. What are you talking about? You want to talk about anarchists? You want to talk about terrorists? You want to talk about insurrectionists? You are an insurrectionist. You, sir, are a freaking terrorist. And your band of terrorist insurrectionists who invaded our Capitol building, who want to destroy our democracy, are the anarchists, are the insurrectionists, are the terrorists trying to take the heart of our country. You see, folks, it's always all projection. Then he goes, American patriots are being arrested and held in captivity like animals, while criminals Criminals and leftist thugs are allowed to roam the streets, killing and burning with no retribution. And what freaking world are you living in, number one? Um, and number two, you're saying American patriots um, are being arrested and held in captivity like animals? You're talking about insurrectionists. You're talking about terrorists who were arrested. You're talking about white supremacist terrorists who tried to destroy our democracy on January 6th. You're talking about people like who were engaged in seditious conspiracy like the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys and the Three Percenters and a bunch of other te right-wing terrorists. That's who you're saying are patriots who are being arrested and held in captivity like animals. I mean, you mean they're in prison? They're in jail for committing a heinous and despicable crime against our democracy. To you, that's like captivity like animals. No, the way you treated innocent people and separated families, you treated innocent people like animals, not people who invaded the Capitol building, who actually tried to kill police officers, who attacked police officers, um, who tried to kill uh, the former vice president at your word, who tried to kill law makers then you go on to say millions are flooding through open to our open borders many prisons and mental institutions crime and inflation are destroying our very way of life no it's actually far better you know what was destroying our way of life when your incompetence allowed for a global pandemic to literally spread throughout the world 
Remember when you were saying President Xi in China was doing an absolutely great job? You had full confidence in President Xi and you had full confidence in everything going on in China. I know you don't like to say that now. Remember you said like a miracle, the global pandemic, it was all gonna go away. It was never gonna reach our shores. Remember when you told people to inject themselves with bleach and Clorox or whatever the hell you wanted people to inject themselves in? Remember all of the disinformation that you spread? Were, uh, remember when you forced, when you, while you were in office, you caused America to be so divided and all you would do is spread hate and divide this country? That's on you. That is on you. You try to destroy our nation. You continue to try to destroy our nation. And as I mentioned in the outset of this video, it's not a coincidence that you are both spreading Putin propaganda in other posts. And if you've been following the Midas Touch Network, you know I've covered posts very recently within the past 24, 48 hours where Donald Trump is literally making posts saying that we need to disband NATO. He's saying that we need to disband our Defense Department. He's saying we need to disband our intelligence services. Yeah, you are signaling Putin, I need help. It's obvious what you're doing. And then here you're sending the message to your base, take our nation back. It's so freaking obvious what you're doing. And then you go, the highly political Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which has allowed new records to be set in violent crime, not true, and whose leader is funded by George Soros, not true, indicate that with no crime being able to be proven and based on old and fully debunked fairy tale, again, not true, not debunked, and what, you've had your lawyer Joe Takapina humiliate himself even further, humiliate you even further, I didn't know even know you could be humiliated even further, your defenses that you never had 1.5 seconds of sex with Stormy Daniels. No affair, no, no affair, I'm being extorted. That is your uh, defense here. Well, let's see how that plays out in court. The good thing is, is that you get the lawyers that you absolutely deserve, you despicable uh, traitor. And then you go on to say in this post that you will be arrested on Tuesday next week. And I hope, absolutely hope that that's true. And in fact, it is, probable that his team has already been signaled based on this message that an indictment may have already in fact even been handed down, that they are aware it's already happened and that Tuesday's the day that he's going to surrender. And so we will keep you posted, of course, here on the Midas Touch Network, but obviously very big news that Donald Trump is um, predicting this right now. And it's probably more than a prediction. He probably knows that this is actually going to be the case. We will keep you posted here on the Midas Touch Network as we learn more. I'm Ben Micellis. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. It's free to subscribe on YouTube. Help us hit 1 million subscribers in the month of March. We are marching to 1 million subscribers. Help us get there. Also, check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Midas Touch, and make sure you subscribe to all of the Midas Touch podcasts to catch up on all of the breaking news. There's the Political Beatdown podcast that I do with Michael Cohen. There's the Legal AF podcast that I do with Karen Friedman Agnifilo and Michael Popak, where we break down the legal issues associated with Donald Trump's threats to our democracy, as well as other issues. Make sure you check out the Midas Touch podcast that I do with my brothers. Make sure you check out The Weekend Show. Make sure you check out Burn the Boats. Make sure you check out our new podcast, Lights On, with Jessica Denson. Make sure you check out Politics Girl podcast. Make sure you check out all of the Midas Touch podcasts. I think you will um, definitely be caught up to date. And until next time, I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Love this video? Then you'll love the Midas Touch podcast. Listen as my brothers and I break down the latest news and chat with top political leaders on the fastest growing pro-democracy podcast in the world. New episodes drop every Tuesday and Friday. Add the Midas Touch podcast right now wherever you listen to your podcasts.